Hello children, today we are going to see new chapter in science that is chapter 13, it's about amazing energy. In the previous lesson you learned that the world we live in is made up of matter and energy. Human beings are the integral part of nature. They have understood many natural events of the environment and try to find out the reasons for the changes that take place in the environment. They have learned to think scientifically about the measurements of nature. So in our daily life, we'll use the words like force, work, energy, etc. Children, what are these words? Let us know about them. After studying this lesson, you can understand the meaning of work. You can understand that energy is needed to do work. You are able to understand the different forms of energy and give examples for the uses of different types of energy. You can recognize the change of energy from one form to another and also you can recognize the significance or importance of conservation of energy. So first of all, we will learn about work. In our daily activities, the word commonly heard is work. Yes, so work is the commonly used word by us. But the word work has a definite meaning. So here you can see children in this picture. Ramesh and Rashida. They are doing activities using some force. They are applying force by their hand. They are doing some activity. Isn't it? Ramesh can complete his work of lifting water from a well. Yes, he is lifting water. But Rakshida, you see, he cannot move the wall when she is doing several attempts to move the wall also, she cannot. So, in these two pictures, which is said to be work? It is said that work is done only when the force applied on an object make the object move in the direction of the force. So, here you can see Ramesh is lifting water from the well. So, he is doing work. So, this is the work is said to be done. Okay, but here you see Rakshida, she cannot be able to move the wall. Okay, so work is said to be done when the force applied by an object moves the object in the direction of the force. Then only we can say that work is said to be done. Okay, so work is done only when the force applied on an object moves in the direction of force. Words depend on the quantity of force applied on the object. Okay, so how much amount of force we are applying? According to that, work will be depends. Okay, example, strong water, arranging blocks, watering the plants, arranging dust in classroom. So, these are some of the examples for work. You might have done all these above works by applying force. Okay, so when force is applied on an object, the object change its position. Okay, so work depend on the quantity of force applied on the object. Now, what is mean by energy? We use energy to do work. Without energy, we cannot do any work. Yes. So, we use energy to do all our work. So, work means making an object to move from one place to another. Isn't it? So, energy, it is required by everyone to move one object from one place to another. So, what is mean by energy? It is the capacity to do work. Depending upon the energy, we can do our 
work if energy is more we can do lot of works if energy is less we cannot do more works okay so energy means it is the capacity to do work energy it is also defined as the process of transfer of one body to another so energy can transfer from one form to another form now let's see about different forms of energy flying aeroplane in the space running vehicle on road sailing boat electrical appliances which are used to simplify our work all use one or other forms of energy okay so aeroplane which is flying in the space and the vehicle which is running on road or the boat which sail on the sea or all the electrical equipments which we will use in our home to simplify our work all will be using one or other form of energy let's see briefly about different different forms of energy so in this picture you can see different forms of energy okay so sun energy is called solar energy okay so not only by human being but also several activity take place naturally in the environment with the help of energy so energy is very important for all this activity to take place let us know which is that essential energy different types of work depend upon its related energy sun air water coal are the sources of energy okay so what are the sources of energy sun air water are the sources of energy now let us learn about the different forms of energy different forms of energy they are muscular energy mechanical energy heat energy solar energy wind energy hydro energy electrical energy bio energy and chemical energy okay so let's see briefly about this different forms of energy now first one is muscular energy so here you can see in this picture activities like walking climbing pulling pushing etc need muscular energy so muscular energy is released by chemical changes in our body due to that chemical changes in our body the energy which is released by our muscle is called muscular energy okay so activities like walking climbing pulling pushing needs muscular energy muscular energy can be increased by uh, by eating proper food and regular exercise and by walking running and pushing things etc so we can increase the muscular energy increase our muscular energy by eating proper food and doing regular exercise by doing walking running pushing things etc now next one is about mechanical energy what is mean by mechanical energy sum of potential energy and kinetic energy are called as mechanical energy okay so the sum total sum means uh, total amount of potential energy and kinetic energy is called as mechanical energy there are two types of mechanical energy they are potential energy and kinetic energy so what is mean by potential energy energy of an object by which of its position okay so energy possessed by an object when it is in position example when water is stored in a dam there will be an energy which is called as potential energy so everything need energy to stay or to be in one position or to do work okay 
so water which is stored in a dam also possessing energy which is called as potential energy so by which of its position okay so it stored in a dam due to its position it's possessing energy which is called as potential energy a book on a table before it falls okay so if one book is on a table before it falls it possesses energy which is called potential energy when it is at rest it possesses energy that is called potential energy what is meant by kinetic energy the energy due to its motion so when the body is in movement the energy possessed by it is called kinetic energy and now what is meant by mechanical energy sum of potential energy and kinetic energy that means total of potential energy and kinetic energy gives mechanical energy okay so example for kinetic energy is moving vehicle so when vehicle moves there is an energy which is called kinetic energy flowing water from the stream in the streams when the water flows that the time it possesses energy which is called as kinetic energy understand children now let's see about heat energy we do our daily work by he getting heat energy like firewood sun fuel etc yes we will do our work by getting heat from the firewood sun fuel using heat energy from fuels firewood gas kerosene we do many works in our home isn't it so we will do works like cooking food ironing clothes boiling water these all due to energy which energy due to heat energy now about solar energy so energy which will get from the sun is called as solar energy so energy from the sun is called solar energy sun is the main source of all energies on the earth okay so which is the main source of all energies on the earth sun so living organism depend solar energy for their survival so all living organisms they require solar energy for their survival examples plants they will prepare food in the presence of sunlight which is called as photosynthesis okay and nowadays we are using different solar energy devices like solar cooker solar lamps solar water heater etc okay so sun is the main source of all energy and living organism depend solar energy for their survival example plants prepare their food in the presence of sunlight which is called as photosynthesis now let's see about some more uses of solar energy solar energy it is used to run vehicles buses bikes trains okay then use of solar energy reduce the use of electricity and prevent pollution of environment okay so we are using solar energy it will reduce the use of electricity not only that it will prevent the pollution of environment nowadays due to the use of fuels in vehicles there is a what air pollution there is an increase in level of pollution in our environment yes but if you are using solar energy it will prevent the pollution of environment now next is about wind energy so air is also a source of energy moving air is called wind which possess energy called as wind energy in ancient time people make boats and sail on the ocean with the help of wind okay and wind mills rotate fast movement due to the fast movement of wind the turbine rotating due to the wind energy which will produces electricity so wind mill from wind mill Now, due to the fast movement of wind, the turbine will rotate, which will produces wind energy and which help to generate electricity. Now, next one is about stored energy of water. So, you know, water, flowing water, can be also act as a source of energy. so dam will be built across a river and water must be stored in it and due to the force exerted 
by the running water the turbine will rotate fast and it will produce electricity so the electricity which we will produce with the help of the water is called as hydroelectric power okay so nowadays there are hydroelectric power stations in which the dams will be built across the river and due to the force exerted by the running water the turbine will rotate and produce electricity then the energy produced by the ocean tides are called as tidal energy so what is meant by tidal energy the energy produced by the ocean tides are called as tidal energy next is about electrical energy so now our work is done easily with the help of electricity you know refrigerator it is work based on electricity which is used to store food for long duration iron box it is producing electrical energy to used to to hanging clothes then computer it is used to process data washing machine it is used to uh, what wash clothes yes. so our work done easily with the help of electrical energy the next is about bio energy the gas produced due to the decaying of agricultural waste plant reduce plant residues animal dung in absence of air is called as biogas okay so biogas means it is the gas which is produced from decaying agricultural waste plant residues and animal waste in absence of air this biogas is used for cooking okay and biogas nowadays it can be converted into electrical energy it is uh, used to help it helps to maintain the healthy environment yes so we are using the decayed agricultural waste animal waste plant waste so we can maintain healthy environment because of this bio energy so the energy available from sources like sun wind water food this are different forms of energy and this forms of energy gets changed and become useful for human life for example fuel energy fuel fuel energy gets converted into mechanical energy which is used to run vehicles okay so the energy can change from one form to another example fuel energy can be converted into mechanical energy which is used to run vehicles then firewood it's get converted into heat energy which is used to cook food now conservation of energy so energy we cannot create or we cannot destroy energy energy cannot can be neither be created nor be destroyed it can be converted so when the energy is converted from one form to another form also there will not be any cre new creation of energy or uh, energy all it cannot be destroyed also okay so if energy is released by natural resources like sun wind water fuel is moderately we can save energy okay so how we can see uh, save fuel energy if you are traveling by bicycle we can save fuel energy okay so energy which is released by natural resources it is alternatively used to save other source of energy understand children i hope that you all understand about the different forms of energy if you have any doubt you can ask children thank you